Hello, everyone. My name is Kia Williams, and I'm the co-founder of Serum, and we help recycle unused, unexpired medicine that would have gone to waste and get it to patients who can't afford their prescription drugs. This is Maria. She works. She's going to school. And Maria just can't afford the medicine she needs to stay healthy to take care of her asthma and heart disease, which out-of-pocket costs for her would be over $200 a month. If you're a low-income person, low-income family in the United States, these numbers might not seem a lot to you here in the audience, but this means an awful lot, and this is the difference oftentimes between folks paying for their prescription drugs that they need to stay healthy and their rent or putting food on their table and groceries. Maria is actually not alone. One in four working-age adults in the United States right now report skipping prescription drugs due to cost. While some folks are uninsured, there's actually about half of this population has some type of insurance. People have high co-pays, have high deductibles, and they're literally making these decisions on a monthly basis, taking care of their health, taking care of their family. Medicine is the most cost-effective way to treat illness. According to the American College of uh, Prevention, not taking medicine actually costs our health system over $100 billion every single year. And much of that is actually due to the fact that people can't afford the prescription drugs that they need to stay healthy. At the same time, this is actually Dean, who's a director of nursing at a facility here in the Bay Area. That's her and one of her nurses who are literally taking these bucketfuls of medicine that are unused, unopened, unexpired medications that before they were simply throwing them away through a regulated medical waste destruction process. This is what they did when they had surplus. So what does Serum do? It's pretty simple. We essentially implement recycling programs in facilities like Dean's that allow these facilities to put their unused medications in a box, and then we on the back end take care of making sure that medicine goes to the right clinic and the right patient actually gets that medication. So we're enabling these facilities to donate instead of destroying the unused patient medicine that they have. Now, patients like Maria can actually fill the prescriptions that they need at their local clinic, which reduces hospitalizations, emergency room visits, all of these downstream effects of what happens when someone can't get the medicine they need to stay healthy. Last year, we actually donated enough medicine to serve over 100,000 prescriptions, so we're more than doubling our impact every single year that we're in existence. And this is actually across four states um, as of today. We work in California, Colorado, Oregon, and Ohio to help these clinics receive donated medicine and help patients get access to medicine they couldn't be able to afford. But by 2022, we actually want to be in 40 states that have Good Samaritan drug donation laws that allow medicine to be donated instead of destroyed. It's really important to note that it really is the fact that Good Samaritan drug donation laws, which are very similar to the ones that allow restaurants to donate their unused food, now exist for the first time in the, first, in the past couple years that allow these facilities to legally donate and protect those donations so that this medicine can go for its intended purpose to make someone better or keep someone healthy. Our team has a wide range of uh, experience from consulting at organizations like McKinsey, um, working in direct science and neuroscience, and I have a background in public health and public-private partnerships from the Clinton Foundation. We're really excited to be able to drive this work forward and go from five states, four states to 40, to be able to redistribute instead of a couple million dollars every year of medicine, over $100 million of medicine by 2022 to serve, hopefully, the 50 million people who can't afford their prescription drugs right now due to cost. Thank you so much for your time, and have a great day.